515 when selecting a breed of dog for your family. No doubt the cuteness factor weighs in heavy, but sometimes that creates the perfect storm of surrendering a family pet because it then turned out to not be the right fit. This morning I want to show you the pitfalls of adopting chihuahuas without doing your research. This is the gang that's here right now. Martha Piercefield loves chihuahuas. She has several of her own after rescuing them from unwanted homes. But she's also a foster mom for several that need to be rehomed because they were surrendered by an owner after the breed became too much. Chihuahuas are uh, super cute, especially when they're a puppy but people don't understand their training needs and they have high training needs. They're difficult to house train. They can sometimes be barky. They're often nippy. Oh yeah. Martha is also the executive director of Chihuahua Rescue Indiana Inc. To date, they've rescued over 2,500 pets. They hope to spread the word about the breed so they can prevent overbreeding and a Chihuahua ending up in the wrong home. We're a foster based rescue. So that means that all of our dogs go to homes with people um, they live with families and the families have the responsibility of trying to make them into really good canine citizens. That's our job as a rescue and then we work to place them with proper families that are suited to each pet. Sweet Ruby here is Martha's baby and oh she is so sweet but the rescue does have a couple of dozen chihuahuas that are in foster homes right now and they're ready to find a new home. Because they're a nonprofit, they need all the financial support they can get. We don't turn away dogs because of health issues. That's one of the reasons we go through a lot of money. <laughs> we have a lot of vet bills. Deborah Tolan is Yoda's rescue mom. She's hoping to stop the overbreeding of chihuahuas. Puppy mills can stack crates upon crates upon crates, and they're bred and bred and bred. And everyone looks at little Yoda and says, oh, I don't have to train a dog that size, but you do. The Chihuahua breed is the second most euthanized breed in shelters. And Chihuahua Rescue Indiana is trying to change that one pet rescue at a time. So we do have more information on how you can help the Chihuahua Rescue at WTHR.com slash to the rescue. And if there's a shelter or rescue you'd like to us to profile, send us an email at to the rescue at WTHR.com. And so keep in mind, so when they foster these dogs, then they do the training with them that maybe they missed mm -hmm. out on when they were in their original and the home. the training is so they don't bite a lot? Well, or? it's just that, you know, like those little puppy, you know, when they're that small, people are like, oh, just jump in my purse, but they jump on you or they mm -hmm. bark at gotcha. you, you know, and those are just things, those traits that you can train against. Yeah. So, um, so, you know, give them a try if it's something that you've always, if that's an animal that you, you know, wanted. I was mentioning you, I had a special needs aunt mm -hmm. who had a chihuahua. Mm -hmm. That thing bit me five or six times, but it was incredibly loyal to mm -hmm. her, mm -hmm. and they they are very That's loyal That's one of dogs. their traits, that yeah. they are one people, person. one people person. Not all of them, but yeah. some of them are one people person, <laughs> or dogs. Pets. I wasn't the person. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs>